They're growing con concerned that if the administration changes that the what has been agreed on uh, so far, even if it was not finalized yet, could go uh, um, could not could not be possible anymore. No, 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 not in this case. Remember, this is not an agreement between the U.S. and an entity. This is an agreement that would cease hostilities between uh, Lebanon uh, between Hezbollah and Israel. Um, and quite frankly, um, there have been ceasefires before, and there's been uh, an understanding by those parties that brought peace on the border with certain rules of engagement for 16 or more years. So there's a lot of confidence, I think, by both parties that if they can reach an agreement, they can stick to it. But I want, uh, what, but I, uh, what I meant is that is there ongoing uh, uh, or growing concerns that if this opportunity was missed, any new administration might not have the same interest as the current one to reach or to re uh, re reestablish what has been agreed on uh, uh, so far. Adam, that's a great point. Um, this is a pretty unusual time for Lebanon and the United States. We have a lot of attention in the United States towards Lebanon for a number of reasons, but importantly, Amos Huckstein has been appointed one single job, and that is to bring um, uh, cease hostilities on the border. He's very close to President Biden. That's an unusual mix that can help solve a problem quickly and make decisions quickly. Uh, as you know, the president uh, is not going to seek re-election, which means that Amos's job, one way or the other, will end sometime this year. Uh, so in that sense, uh, it's really important to close the deal now. Uh, but looking forward, um, you know, I would not bet on a future president put paying uh, attention to the point of, a, uh, of putting an envoy in at such a high level. Now's the time to move. And the Lebanese people should amplify their voice to the leadership in this country and say, we want this to happen as quickly as possible. To the leadership, Hezbollah, or both? I'll just say to the leadership of this country. Many fear that the decision to escalate the war on the southern front or the northern front has already been taken. And, the, and Israel has uh, decided that the threat that Hezbollah poses or that it proved that it poses on, the, on Israel cannot be postponed and it needs to be dealt with uh, directly. Do you have the same concern or do you have the same fear that a potential full-blown war will happen? Well, like I said, I think that the ingredients are there to avoid it. However, uh, Israel has made it clear that it can't be business as usual anymore. Um, they've got um, uh, 60,000 plus families out of their homes in, in, uh, in the north of Israel and over 100,000 uh, people out of their homes in the south of Lebanon. Something has to change. And Amos Huckstein seems to believe that one, you gotta cease hostilities, and two, you gotta start to move towards full implementation of 1701, even if it's incrementally, uh, which involves not only demarcating the border perhaps, but standing up the Lebanese armed forces and rebuilding the south. Many parties, uh, specifically Christian parties, fear that any potential deal in Lebanon would be on the expense of uh, so many political parties and that a deal might be reached with Hezbollah and which will give it more influence in the country or pr practically what they say the expression is handing Lebanon on a silver platter to Hezbollah whether from the presidency uh, from the uh, political contract that exists within this country how do you address this fear so number one I want to make it very clear I've talked at the highest levels in Washington uh, among many agencies and I can say with confidence the United States does not want to trade come on the border for who becomes president. Um, they don't want to empower uh, parties uh, with that kind of trade-off. So that's not going to happen, in my opinion, from what I've been told. Um, I think what's really important, though, is that the parties need to come together more, and the, the Lebanese people have to insist 
that they need a president as soon as possible. Now, um, uh, we've seen that Speaker Barry and uh, some of those opposition parties are talking to one another about what the mix can be in a process. We're encouraged by that, but also they have to realize they have to make compromise. And they have to realize that compromise means not getting everything you want, but finding a candidate that's competent, reform-minded, and uh, clean. Uh, and uh, everyone I've talked to from all sides of this equation agree with that. So um, I think they have more work to do. I don't think we're going to see a president elected in the short term. That's what I was about to ask. Do you think an agreement uh, on the border could happen before an agreement on the, president's, uh, on the presidency or they will come simultaneously? Does one come before the other? So from my viewpoint, um, after my uh, sessions here this week, I believe that there's a path forward on the, on the border and there's a seriousness on the border and the ingredients are there with the right facilitator. Um, uh, on the presidency, I think there's still more discussion that has to go on, but the parties have to realize they have a very limited time and realize that when the American administration changes, um, it's going to be more difficult to get the attention of the Americans. I'll say this, the quintet has come together. And the quintet of five countries seem to be very focused on this. And hopefully they can help speed up that process. Last week, you met with the Speaker Berri, uh, and there's been ongoing talks that he might be put on the sanctions, li sanctions list. Do you would like to share any information about that, or have you heard anything? I have heard nothing to that extent. Would you say that this might be the last chance for Lebanon or Hezbollah to reach a deal and agreement, or else we are going to some dark place? Well, I don't know about a dark place, but when you look at the fact that the American administration is changing, this administration is very focused on helping Lebanon uh, with aid, with support for the LAF, uh, with wanting to help uh, facilitate uh, a new president, and very concerned about bringing calm to the border. Only America can do that. Um, they have to realize that this doesn't go on forever that there's a very limited period of time, and hopefully the Lebanese people will amplify their voice in support of moving quickly on those, two, on those several issues. So